hi everyone this is me bilal malik in this video lecture uh, i'm going to uh, present a project on home devices control system and uh, you can also say uh, home automation system using microcontroller if you uh, watching my video first time then let me int introduce myself i am bilal malik from microcontrollerslab.com I write technical articles related to microcontrollers, microcontrollers tutorials and projects uh, related to electrical, electronics, computer and macro for mechatronics engineering students and uh, uh, here you can see uh, my website where I write articles related to uh, microcontrollers you can uh, come you can visit my website uh, microcontrollerslab.com you can find a link of my website in the description of the video uh, uh, as you can see in my website there is option of projects tutorials and project ideas and there is also an option of general articles and in future I'm also going to make video lectures on uh, uh, microcontrollers and uh, uh, simulation software related to electrical and electronics so I will be adding a new uh, men uh, new option in the menu uh, with the name of video lecture so let's start with today's agenda uh, in today's lecture I am going to uh, give you a brief review and uh, uh, working of uh, home devices control system and uh, another name of this project is uh, home automation system so as you know uh, nowadays uh, digital electronics is becoming more popular than analog electronics because uh, uh, digital electronics uh, can provide more optimized circuits and uh, with the help of digital electronics you can uh, control uh, your devices or your uh, uh, equipments from re remote location so similarly in this project we are what we are trying to do in this project we are uh, trying to control a uh, home devices for example you are using uh, AC refrigerator fans and lights in your home and uh, you uh, and uh, you uh, daily go to your uh, daily go for your job and you don't know either you switch on switch off or switch on these devices uh, but with the uh, uh, with the help of uh, this project you can uh, you can uh, get the status of these devices on your mobile phone by sending a message from your mobile phone uh, for example this is the uh, basic block diagram of uh, home devices control system in this project we are uh, have, we are using three devices for device one device two and device three for example device one is is a fan device two is a ac and device three uh, is a refrigerator and uh, uh, one day uh, you uh, you are left for your job and uh, and uh, you are in Fusion, either you switch off uh, these uh, switch off the AC or not so uh, in this modern world uh, uh, there is no need to worry about it uh, because you can use this project to get the status of these devices so uh, uh, I think you uh, got the idea why this project has been made so basically home automation system or home devices control uh, system as it name suggests is used to control home devices through GSM from remote locations so in this project what we uh, what you need you need uh, a microcontroller uh, and there uh, there 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 may be a, some kind of relay interface because these devices operate on high voltages why uh, from high voltage i mean 220 volt ac and uh, as, compa as compared to this t20 uh, 220 sorry for t20 uh, for this uh, 220 volt as compared to this 220 volt ac devices uh, 5 volt dc which is uh, which is the power supply of a microcontroller is small voltage voltage that's why i am saying this these devices are connected to high voltage so don't mix this high voltage with the uh, power system high voltage which are enormously high voltages like to uh, 11 kilovolt and 500 kilovolt so uh, this is the no that is not the topic for our discussion so in this project microcontroller 
read the status of these devices either since devices are on and off and you can ask and uh, you can uh, microcontrol also uh, turn on and off these devices with the help of uh, uh, gsm modem by getting instruction of a mobile phone uh, uh, for example uh, this is your mobile phone you will send a message uh, to, uh, to this gsm module uh, this gsm module has also a sim so definitely this sim will, ha will have some kind of uh, some specific number so you will send a message from your mobile phone to this number to this gsm module sim and micro and gsm module will send this data to microcontroller and microcontroller uh, uh, microcontroller will check the status of uh, uh, these devices uh, which are uh, interface with microcontroller through relays if you don't know how to uh, interface relays with microcontroller gsm module with microcontroller uh, you can simply go to my website and find articles on it i will uh, show uh, show you the links of uh, 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 link of these articles at the end of this video so this is the brief review of form automation system project uh, uh, for example you want to uh, you are in uh, for example you come back from your job and you are very tired and you don't want to get up to uh, turn on uh, AC so you can simply send SMS from your mobile phone to this GSM module, GSM module will send these instructions to microcontroller, microcontroller based on programming will uh, take a decision and turn on uh, turn on this respective relay which will be connected to microcontroller and device 3, uh, I am assuming that device 3 is AC and uh, microcontroller will turn on the relay and simul uh, when, uh, relay will be on, AC will, be, uh, will become on. So similarly, uh, you can turn off these devices and you can get the status of this, these devices. So uh, to make home automation project, you should know how to uh, use microcontroller, any kind of microcontroller uh, and, and uh, how to interface a relay with the help of uh, with microcontroller, how to um, interface GSM module with the microcontroller, how to use commands to send uh, instructions to GSM module from GSM module to microcontroller and how, how to wrote, write code. So uh, you should uh, know the basics of microcontroller before uh, uh, before making this project because it is very difficult for it will be very difficult for you to uh, uh, implement this project if, if you don't know the ABC of uh, microcontroller so let's start uh, let me show you circle diagram of uh, this project so as you can see this is the circle diagram of home automation system it is not uh, very well clear so in this uh, uh, in this circle diagram this is a uh, uh, avr microcontroller this is lcd module lc module will show the uh, will show uh, status of different uh, 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 devices for example we have used four relays this is a uh, uh, current driver IC because microcontroller pins can never provide current more than 20 milliampere so you need a current of more than 20 milliampere to drive these relays this, that, that is why we are using ULN 2003 uh, Darlington pair current IC to drive these relays and uh, and uh, to energize this rail you will need 12 volt ic and uh, uh, across these loads you can con uh, con across these uh, relays contact you can connect your loads so, and this is max 232 ic uh, to if you want to control through uh, uh, devices through computer so uh, this is all about uh, home automation system project or home devices control system uh, so uh, uh, before i conclude or end this video uh, to make project on home automation system you should uh, know how to interface relays with microcontroller how to interface lcd how to use gsm command i have written a complete complete article on this topic on my website just go to my website and the click on gsm gsm based home devices control system and after uh, going to my website you will find a complete article on gsm based home devices control system 
and uh, here you can see a complete uh, article and uh, a complete guide on, uh, on home devices control system and you will also find articles on uh, gsm uh, how to interface gsm with microcontroller and uh, how to interface the relays etc so i recommend you to go to my website and uh, watch uh, read this read this article if you have any confusion after reading reading this article uh, let me know with your comments by writing comments on uh, comment section and uh, uh, one last thing if you uh, want to get um, uh, my future articles notice in your email address so subscribe to my blog by entering your email address here and after after you sub, uh, after ent entering your email address just hit the button uh, subscribe button you will get an email in your e uh, email and uh, just uh, click on the link to activate this sub uh, subscription after uh, activating you will get all my posts in uh, future posts in your email thanks for watching this video